All right, people, welcome back. Daily Duels. Uh, it has been a while. Oh my God, it has been a while. Anyway, we are back. We are using them Keller Knights and everything is just awesome. I, I, I'm just doing great. We opened up, thank God, with the Rota. Thank God. So, uh, as you guys know, I took the Sotelar Star Serves down to the Utah Regional. I will have a deck profile, turn report, all that shit coming up on the channel soon. But uh, pretty much right at the tournament, uh, all the cards got taken back. So I am just back to using regular old ass Telenite. So I'm think I was thinking about just going back to a fun version, uh, fun version using this card because I really like this equipped card and it kind of sucks that I couldn't run my my competitive version just because it's a really powerful card if you can get it off. But uh, I really like this card. And I'm um, running more warriors like Goblinburg and like Butter Spy because now I can actually go into and I'm probably not gonna run this many extra deck, but I just couldn't think of what else to run, so I just threw them in there. Uh, I can go into this guy, yeah, with the help of like Goblinburg or you know, uh, or or uh, oh my God, what's the card called? Butter Spy. Then I can simply just be like, all right, well there's an additional warrior. I already have three with the Vega and Altair, and then bam, there you go. So. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and be trying that out. Oh, yeah, I am up on resources. I got up on resources because I, I, I plussed off my search. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That, I was gonna say, like, are you next time me, like, I'm right down on resources. You have to that. Like, you you drove that additional card. Yeah, but I, I, I searched without negging. So I went up to six cards when I'm only supposed to start at five, so that's the reason why. I was just begging to be Exiton to wipe. Definitely begging to be Exiton to wipe. Like, holy crap. And I said, you know, this deck, oh, it's pretty back row heavy, but at least he doesn't have a Wing Beast on the field, so at least I don't have to worry about that. But I was just screaming, please, sir, please Exiton to wipe me. There it is. There's that solemn warning. Well, at least I don't have to worry about him next time wiping me again. Right? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my play, but I could just do it during the end phase. So this deck is pretty back or heavy, if you don't know. Anyway, I'm back. We're gonna be dueling, playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And, yeah. Like I said, I'm still not 100%. I'm still kind of sick, still under the, the weather to an extent, you know? I'm just like, <coughs> alright, alright, I'm, I'm still sick, alright. Uh, take another break, video over. I'm just kidding. Alright, alright, tell me, tell me the truth, tell me the truth. How many of you guys almost lost your shit? You're like, oh, hell no, this motherfucker right here, he better fucking die. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, 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 I can do this. I can totally do this. I'll go ahead and summon that Altair. Altair, summon that Deneb. Yeah, give me that search. Like I said right now his best play so far was the uh, the exitoning, and even that wasn't like oh my god, you know. Uh, what are we even with resources? If I XC uh, one, two, three, four, five is one, two, three, four, five, six. No, I can exiton. Like fine, fucking you want to exiton me? I'm fucking exiton you. All right. I'm the one that exitons in this duel, motherfucker. <laughs> dot dot. Bitch! <laughs> oh, what's wrong with me? He started it. This man started it, alright? He started the exitoning. Oh, it's a set harpist. Oh, well, you better not overextend too much, motherfucker, because I can exit on you again. You're still up on resources. I guess I shouldn't have to finish chain, but eh. If I could have had to play the finish chain just to, you know, stay in this duel. It's just an exit on off. <laughs> anyway, a lot has happened. A lot. It's been, it's been a, it has been a cool minute. No, that's fine. That's fine. Overextend. I want you to use up more resources. That's fine. No. I want more. More resources. I 
Are you just gonna go into your owl guy? That's what I'm wondering. Is that what you're gonna do? Just go into the owl guy? Because I don't want you to start plussing and you got that booty too. Ah. See, and this is the question. Yeah, I'll finish chain it. Because now the thing is, how am I going to get rid of this 21 beater? I mean, I could just go, you know, all tire and then the net, but I really don't want to do that. <laughs> I really don't. It's a duel of resources, and he is, he is keeping up. Don't set any back row. No, no, because when I draw, I'll be at 5 as well, so you're fine. You're fine. Unless I play something that just absolutely negs me, you should be okay. But then you draw, you're going to be at six, so. Uh, right now I'm okay. I got 8,000 life points. I'm going to hold on to the MST. Really, I want a Vega. That's who I want right now. I want fucking Vega. I love Vega. That is exactly who I want in this door right now. Ah, uh, so, uh, the Utah videos will be separate, uh, I, like I said, I have a tournament pro deck profile, but I really haven't done a video talking about my experience, so I'll probably do that, not this video. Uh, I'm just gonna try to wrap up all of what happened these past two weeks in a nice, quick, pretty, uh, <laughs> fucking, uh, what's it called? I forgot what it's called, something notes? Something notes. Ah, what's it called? Cliff Notes? That's it. Quick little cliff, cliff Notes. Alright. I know this isn't the best, but I was actually thinking about MSTing my own Phoenix Chain and releasing him, and then just wiping with X-Ton. That way I can get rid of all the back row as well. Because the back row is what's worrying me. That's what's worrying me. I, I got my play right now, because these two got my play. You know, I said I needed either a Vega or a Goblinburg or whatever, because I'm going into Deltaros, you know. So... You want a crystal attack? Go. More power to you. So clearly he he has some piece of back row back there. So I already used Song Morning, so at least I don't have to worry about that. But he would he would rather Icarus attack. So that's one. Alright, and grab another Altair. Go into the powerful Deltaros. Which you can't touch because you used your solemn warning. And then I'll cope him with this card. And then he'll be like, ba BAM! Powerful ass Deltaros. I love that. You can't respond to me, and then the first thing that happens is me equipping, so. Can't touch this. <laughs> this is starting to dance right now. Get rid of oh, of course it was MSC! Motherfucker! Man, this man has the answers to everything I do. Everything I do. Head ass in this duel. This duel's annoying because he has the answers to everything I do. Like, holy shit. Like, of course it's the MST. Anything else? Nah, nah. You already used up your kiss attack. You don't have... Nope, nope, nope. It's like, oh, it's MST. Like, oh, of course it is. Fucking just... Oh, my God. It's just pissing me off because he keeps on having the answers to all my plays. I'm starting to run out of resources. I fucking overextended, so I'm pretty much gonna get 101 and cat stell again. Like, oh my god. This is fucking annoying. You know how fucking annoying this shit is? It's bad. Go ahead and get your card right back. Oh no, you're gonna summon it. Okay. You're gonna summon another one. Because this effect isn't once per turn. You can only use the effect once per turn. Ugh. So you can make a Castell and you can make your Searchy Birdie. Like, awesome. Woo! If, any, if it's any other card but MST, I'd be sitting golden right now, but of course. This man, this duel's annoying. <laughs> ah, this duel. Please let me draw anybody. 
Anybody, I don't care. Let me draw anybody. This duel is just fucking annoying. This man's getting all the answers to all my plays. And it's continuing the plus. Like, hasn't touched my life points at all. He's just being a rank 4 deck, but god. I told you, it's the backer that's gonna fuck with me, and things like all oh, every single piece of backer was something to fuck with me. And. And of course, Rhapsody. Oh, there goes my fucking Deneb. Thank you for that. That's annoying. This whole duel is so fucking annoying. Oh my god, he just has the answer to all my plays. Like, wow. Everything I do. Well, I wish I would do like a Vega or something, or at least anybody else. Everything I do. Holy shit. Go ahead. This duel is going back and forth, and this man. All right, I'm done. All right, I quit. All right, I quit. I quit. I quit. You win. I will quit. You win. You win. You just get everything. <laughs> I quit. I quit. Holy shit. We'll get another duel in. I can't. I can't beat this man's luck. This man gets every single fucking thing. Like, damn. Damn. Every single time I did something, he had the answer. Nigga. <sighs> We'll get another duel and bear back. Alright, back. God, I hope I have another duel like that. I said, I said, when that R when RGB zero, I do not know what the hell ever happened to him. He just kind of like disappeared from the face of the Yu Gi tubing. Said that there is, that Yu Gi Oh is not matter on luck. I just wanted to smack him in the face. You know, I've never disliked a YouTube video, but I really wanted to dislike that one. I was like, holy shit, this guy, this guy, this guy right here, saying that fucking, there's no luck. Shit. Lots of luck. <laughs> A ton of luck in Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Say to God. Anyway, uh, I had a calculus test, and I got it graded. Uh, that, that calculus test was the hardest. You know, the, I did a previous video, and I was like, oh, man, this calculus test is hard. No, no, no. The, the teacher decided, because the last one was so lengthy it was really lengthy that she decided uh the test was too long so make it less questions but by making it less questions he made it a lot more difficult like a lot more difficult oh my god great shadows well i really hope that this piece of background is something Yeah. Really hope that piece back or something, because I'm definitely, definitely, definitely gonna just gonna go ahead and go into a triver. Yeah, she dolls. <laughs> oh, this doll should be fun to say the least. So I hope this is like a solemn morning or something, because when I go into triv and I return that to extra deck. <laughs> You're gonna be in some deep shit because I'm gonna have the diamond for fucking. Actually, do I have another diamond? Actually, I don't. I don't because it's the fun deck. Oh, oh. <laughs> Go ahead and kill my Denim. Only problem with going in a trip is that she's only 21. 26 if I equip her with this. And he has a Falco. Something and a beast. The beast really can't be played unless I said unless he's unless this is this is the El Shadow fusion then just fuck me. Like, just fuck me in the ass. Like of course you get both of them. So is this gonna be the duel where Danny gets fucked in the ass? That's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about this being an El Shadow fusion. Ah, uh, doesn't seem like it. Is this it else I've shut off each and he fused in the window? I'd just be like, God fucking damn it. <laughs> so. 
I probably won't go into... I mean, probably won't use Trib's effect, there's really no point. Because there's a good chance that I'll just go ahead and hit a Shadal monster that I don't want him to hit, so. Just take it slow, and if he happens to top deck into another Shadal fusion, well then just fuck me anyway, so. <laughs> One set card and three monsters being Falco, a different set monster, and Beast. So I know two out of the f five cards in his hand? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Falco. Falco's Hedgehog Search for Beast. And they are set monster, set back row. Yeah, so I know two. Two out of the five. Like I said, unless he, unless he top deck into freaking Shadal fucking goddamn fusion. I got foolish. Like, all right. Mm-hmm. You should all down there. I'll just hedgehog. So there's one card again. So. At this point, unless he sets that other card, I have a 50-50% chance of hitting Beast, which it's really not worth the trouble. <sighs> so I know this is Hedgehog, I mean this is Falco, so uh, I can go ahead and make a Deltaros, then use my effect, target the Falco, destroy it. No, destroy this, destroy the new set card, because the graveyard effects are not even nearly as scary. Actually, I, I need to kill Falco first. I'm gonna kill Falco first, because all he could do is summon Hedgehog, and I don't give a shit about that. Ah, but he can search for another Shadal Fusion if it's Hedgehog. That's the problem. Ah, uh, problem. What could this card possibly be? That's what I'm worried about. You, you're a little bit slow. You're a little bit slow. You, he can go ahead and flip you up and get a Hedgehog. I don't give a shit. And it's gonna be sad. He can't flip it, and then my turn, I'll just pop it. You know, but you on the other hand, you're you're the new card. You're the new mysterious card, so I might want to get rid of you. So I, I wish I had some more warriors in the hand right now. Yeah, I might just make a Delta Russ and go ahead and pop that set monster, and his, he'll get his graveyard effect. The scariest thing it could be is I don't know, Hedgehog. I talk and get him a monster search. I'm trying to think, but I really can't think of anything that's too scary. Ah, uh, the only problem is I have to activate my effect. I have to activate Triv's effect because I gotta get my Ganab off of Triv. Okay, well you can only activate one Falco per turn, so. Alright, so now I can kill the Falcos without any word. Kill the Falcos, kill the Falcos, that is totally fine. I got lucky because I could have picked out fucking Beast, which would have been much worse. Much, 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 much worse. Yeah, so she made this calculus test extremely hard. I didn't do so well. I got a B. And, yeah, you're probably saying, like, you know, that's fine, Dan. No, B is fine, you know? Go ahead and take it. Oh, I'm out of searches. Yeah, I'm totally out of searches. You know? You're probably thinking, like, a, you know, B is fine. I'll take a B. But, no. I said I'm still going to get an A in the class, but I said, usually I'm getting, like, 100%, 100 fucking percents and shit, but. At that time. <laughs> Guess you're gonna go ahead and destroy your own card? Damn, this man. Ha! 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 Uh, so I was like, what, dragon? That's why. I, that's the reason why I didn't equip my alpha yet. Because I was like, yeah, if it's a dragon, you know, just pop it. Like, nah, no, nah, no, nah, I can wait. I can wait. If it's a dragon, I don't care. If it's a hedgehog, I really don't care. If it's a falco, you already used it. Uh, if it's Squamata, I don't care because you're just gonna send more time on the graveyard and I don't give a shit about the graveyard effects in life. But graveyard effects are not nearly as scary as their fill effects. And then I was just gonna go, alright. If you want I thought maybe he was gonna be slick and like this was like core and then like core would get him back his shit off fusion, then I'd be like, ooh, okay. You know, now I'm in some deep shit, you know, because you you because you'd be able to just go ahead and shit off fusion with that. But I'm just go I was gonna go ahead and equip my Deltros with um with the alpha and then I'm so beefy, you come at me, Construct. Come at me, bruh. So, uh, we have time for one more duel. So, bear back.
All right, last duel. So yeah, it was just much harder, much much harder. See that test kicked my butt. I must say. All right, I opened up fine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, not right now. Anyway, grab grab the Altair, set the call so he can go ahead and MST it, which means that he's not gonna have the MST for my Alpha. Like no, we're okay. Okay, we've been opening up with the Nebs or some way of getting the Deneb. So like I said, tell him that's all you need is the Deneb, and you're sitting okay. So. I said, it's a powerful Deltaro storm brewing. Wow, this man just sets a fucking monster. That's it. This man just sets a fucking monster. Like, alright, fine, I'll fucking go into Deltaro. I got the fucking, uh, butter splice, so. No. Oh. Deltaro becomes much more predominant in this version of the deck than it does, uh, in regular Teller Knights. You know, with me going with outside Teller Knights and with the powerful Alpha equip, so it's more prominent. Hmm. Go ahead and pop first. It really doesn't matter. So if it's a dragon, it's a dull monster, then get rid of it. Nope. Okay. And I'll just become an invincible 3,000 fucking killer. Anyway, so you have an ST. I love this equip spell. It's so fucking good. Love it. <laughs> you can't touch me. Get punched! I'm unaffected by your first scarecrow. Ah! Fucking Deltros is a goddamn monster! <laughs> Fuck your Exodia deck. You trying to fucking block me with your fucking Champion Stroller dad will fucking block me since Scarecrow. No, bitch! Just neg and get punched in the face for 3,000. Whew! Ah, oh, that felt good. That felt good. It's good to be back. That felt good. I was like, I was like, wait, will that block the- I was like, does that block the attack or does that block the monster? I was like, no. It blocks the monster, <laughs> so I'm unaffected. <laughs> like, oh my god, that felt so good. <laughs> All right. Okay, I guess. So now what? You can actually into like Castell and Castell my Alpha. That would be like one of the best things, but. I'm still have my Deltaros in the field, so don't try to cast out my Deltaros. Don't try to one on one me. Guess you could Exiton. You're down on resources. Yeah, you're on Exiton. Nah, that's fine. Can Exiton me again though? Damn, damn, this man's like, I scoop, I scoop, that turns too strong. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I gotta be. It, it wasn't even a low B, it was like 87, but still, you know. It's bad, I didn't get any of that extra credit. I didn't know how to do any of it, and it was just like, damn, damn, damn. Damn it, Tina. <laughs> you guys know how I feel about Tina. She's she's cool. She's, a, she's, like, she's like my third favorite math teacher, so, <laughs> that I've ever had in my life, so. Anyway, uh... It's interesting that's gonna be well not really interesting but what I'm gonna be talking about this week is that uh actually it's finals week. I know, where'd the time go? It's actually finals week, so I guess I'll be going ahead and talking to you about my finals. So tomorrow, uh I'll tell you guys about my algebra final. And then probably on Thursday I'll talk about my Utah experience. Then Friday I'll go ahead and talk about my calculus final. Yeah. So we'll go all like that. We'll we'll schedule things so we catch up, but um, mostly, that's it. Just calculus test, still school, a uh, ton of crap happening in Yu-Gi-Oh! that I gotta talk about, so, uh, I might just set aside even live videos to get done with all the talking that has to be done, because holy crap, you know, uh, card, this card review is not gonna be enough, you know, I, I have, like, a ton of cards that I need to discuss, a ton, but, uh, yeah, it's just good to be back, I, like I said, you can hear my voice, I feel much better, uh, cause I'm still, I'm like 90%, I'm like 90%, you know, I still cough and sneeze every once in a while, nose gets a little bit stuffy and phlegmy, but I'm still, I'm, I'm fine, totally well enough to go to school, and I'm well enough to go ahead and record videos for you guys. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels, so, um, yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, 
And I will see you guys tomorrow talking about my algebra final and uh, using them powerful Klee Bolas. All right, people. Thanks for watching.